swore I had the right remote control on me for this one, but I don't have it. Let me go do a search again, try to find my remote control wherever it could be at. I thought I had it in my hand, but I don't. Hmm. So apparently I picked up the wrong remote control. So if you wonder what screen paint this is, I told you we have a dark version of the Phoenix Silver, which is... My remote control over here? Nope. Um, I have a darker version of the Phoenix, which you're seeing right here. I'm showing it off right now. Let me see what this has got to be. Hopefully this is it. Yes, it is. Picked up the wrong remote control. So anyway, uh, sorry about that. Had to find my remote control. This is a darker version of the Phoenix. It's just the same thing. Phoenix technology, ultra short throw. It, it basically has the ability to do all the stuff that the other uh, silver version of it does. It's just the only difference is just a darker version of it. Um, I thought I was going to bring out, you know, eventually having a light gray, uh, no, sorry, not gray, a light silver screen paint. I wanted to have a darker version attached to it. So this is the darker version of that technology. This will be available probably around Friday. Not in time for ship out, but it will be, be available. Now, like I said, I toyed around a bit saying that we're going to make a silver screen. Now we have one, splayed it on glass, you know, over and over again, contrast levels. But I thought it'd be nice to have a darker version of that particular technology. Now these are mid-class, which means they're not the high-class screens we develop, but they have amazing capabilities and they look outstanding. These screens are absolutely incredible. Now this is a paint on, a roll on, roll on um, uh, screen paint. You can spray it on if you want, it's up to you. Uh, it can be applied to just about every surface you think of, you can think of. The, I'm not going to tell you what the screen's made of, but the screen's made out of something really interesting, but I'll show you later on. So we got a projector sitting back around 13, about 14 feet from the screen. As always, fully lit environment as we like to display them. And I'll show you the paint right here. Now some people, like I said, they like the silver, that's what they do like, but they do want a little more contrast to it. So this is the contrast version, the darker version of the silver, which we call the Advanced Ambient Light Rejection Phoenix Complete Silver. I can get my name mixed up with that. It's, that's silver complete. It's complete silver. Sorry about that. Uh, dark. I'll change it later in the caption. I do that from time to time. I got designed so many screen paints. You know, I, sometimes I forget which ones are which. But this is a quart size, so we're going to have this in quarts. My bad. Sorry about that. We're going to have this in quart sizes, and we're going to have this in the one gallon and two gallons. Uh, uh, we may have it in three. I'm thinking about doing a three gallon um, size with that one too. Now, as I said before, they're going to come in two different kinds. This is the silver version right here, which you can see over there on that glass over there. That's the silver version we have right here. And then now we have a dark version of that technology also right there. All right, so let me show you. We're going to do a side by side, like down the middle, you know, half and half, so you can see which one may favor you, whether you want the darker or whether you want the silver. All right, so let's begin the demonstration on the painted screen. All right, bring it back some, and let's begin. And I grabbed the wrong remote control again. Why do I have this remote control here? It's in the wrong area. Let's do it again. All right, there we go. I went all the way back to the beginning. And there it is right there. So that's a darker version of a silver. Because we have some people who want the light silver screens. We have that technology now. But then some people want that silver, but they want a darker version of the silver. So this is what we have now. We're trying to cater to everybody. Make sure we have screen paints developed for everybody. So if you want a little bit more contrast, but you still want them high white levels, from a silver screen, this is the technology that'll do it for you. And later on, I'll show you what the screen's made out of. You'll be quite shocked when you find out what I made my projection screen out of. Now, this was just developed today, uh, about two hours ago. This was actually made. And of course, of always, I'm going to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for blessing us with such amazing technology. Look at that. Now this is what I'm going to be painting on my Retro Gamer screen upstairs. I'm going to be designing for myself my 4.3. It's going to have this coating. Nice beautiful greens. Beautiful colors. Commercial. I'm joking. Commercial. I mean, anyway, come on this real quick. There we go.
Keep in mind, it's just not a doll, doll paint. These are actual silver screens. Now, like I said, just like the silver version, it has all the perks and whistles. Works with ultra short throw projector, long throw projectors, pico projectors. Does not work with uh, knockoff projectors. We do not support those. And I had a few people asking about painting fabric screens. If you're going to paint a fabric screen, okay? If you're going to paint a fabric screen, what you want to make sure is that you want to coat that surface with two coats of everyday paint. This is a fabric surface. So you want to paint it with two coats of everyday paint. It doesn't have to be primer. It can be blue paint, green paint, yellow paint. It doesn't make a difference. The object is to get the surface to absorb in as much paint as possible. Now, two coats usually does the job perfectly. When you're done and everything's dry, then you apply our application onto it and you're done. All right, let's get some other demonstrations in there. You see all demonstrations are done in fully lit environments. And it's light in here with the sloths. And how beautiful the image looks. Nothing tucked away. Everything out in the open. I think we got about just about everything covered. So now we have dark technology and we have light technology and we got mid technology. So this is going to be available on Friday. So those of you are saying, well, what about the testing? There's no testing underneath of it due to the fact that it's just a darker version of the Silver Phoenix. The only perks that it has over the Silver Phoenix, it produces a higher contrast level. The Silver Phoenix is going to produce a higher white level. And if you want screens that are going to be a higher performance, then we have that jet black technology. This is a one coat application. We'll be doing a paint on demonstration soon. I ordered some surfaces, some 4x8, I think that carbon cardboard, that plastic cardboard, whatever it is. I ordered about uh, 10 of those that I can basically paint screens with.
Because that would be easier for me than taking that up and down the stairs and carrying those heavy frames. And as always, we're using old projectors in our demonstration. We got a Christie projector. Projector, like I said, was discontinued in 2012. I gotta pick them up another um, LX. My LX, I need another one of those. They're like a hundred dollar projector, which is good for demonstrations. I try to use projectors in my demonstration that anyone can go to eBay and buy. They can go to eBay and there's the projector ready to go pick it up. Now, if you're looking at the demonstration, you want to know what the screen's made out of? It's a curtain. The screen was constructed out of a curtain. It has some old curtains upstairs in the attic. Side to staple to a frame, and voila, I'll show you the back of it. I told you, you can paint anything you want. You got to think outside the box. Some people go down by the expensive Carl Blackout cloth. What? No, tablecloth. That's a curtain right there. That's a projection screen right there. There you go. Old curtain that I had upstairs sitting in my attic. I figured, you know what? I'm going to turn that into a projection screen. Now I got myself a projection screen. Here's what's left of it right here. Old curtain. So when you paint fabric, what you want to do is, as I said before, if you have a support bar in the middle of your screen, you make sure you pad your bar so you don't get the imprint pushed on the other end. And then all you have to do is put any coat of paint. It can be blue, green, red, orange. You know, as you see my paint on the side, you should be able to see my paint splattered on the side. Some of it's blue. I painted this with blue paint. All you have to do is basically, you need the surface to absorb paint. That's all. That's all it's for. If the primer does nothing for it. It just it causes the surface to absorb as much paint as possible. Because what's going to happen, if you don't do that, you're going to get uneven spots all over your screen. Because some areas are going to soak in more, some are going to soak in less. So what you do is you apply one coat on it, let the screen absorb in, let it dry, Hit it a second time, and then you got a solid foundation, an even foundation, where it one spot's not going to soak in more or less. It's just designed to absorb as much paint as possible. Two coats does the trick. And once that dries, then you apply our application to it, and you're done. That's it. That's all you got to do. You do that with any fabric surface that you coat. Make sure you put two coats of paint on it, let it dry the first and second, and you're done. And that's a, that's a, that right there is a, whatchamacallum, is a, um, the curtain. Got four more of them upstairs. I can build a screen with those. And I got a shower curtain, which I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to do a shower curtain projection screen. Very easy to do. You know, people spend all this money for blackout cloth. Well, you guys are crazy. You know, I don't want to spend that kind of money for some blackout cloth. Go out and just coat up the top and be done with it. Well, let's just got some. Sorry about the bare feet, people. I mean, it's my day off. So, this is my day off, but I'm just relaxing now. Sometimes you'll see me walk across the camera barefoot, but I'm relaxed day today. Heck, I work from home. I'm not wearing a suit. What am I going to wear a suit for? Or a dress up for? For what? There we go. Boom. Technology does all the work. Make it easy for you. you Got to think outside the box. What you want to build? I had a customer came down today to pick up paint today. He lives right in the neighborhood, not too far from me. So come down and pick it up. And he asked me, what am I going to paint the screen out of? Got to think outside the box. Anything you want. Because at the end of the day, you've got a screen paint that has been tested against certified projection screens. It's been tested by low end projectors. It's been thrown outside. It's been going through. It's been th but all the testing we put these screens under, you have that technology at your fingertips to be able to paint a screen that's more advanced than a $6,000 projection screen on anything you want. So now I got me a high performance screen made out of an old curtain upstairs in my attic. So it's up to you on what you want to build out of. Go to Home Depot, buy some styrofoam, insulating styrofoam. I love insulating styrofoam. You got to get the insulating. It has to be, they make it purple and they make it seafoam green. It's four by eight. You can take that together. I'll take five, five cubes of those together and you couldn't tell where the screen ended or where it began. You couldn't tell, you couldn't see it. You had to be right up on top of the screen to do it. You know that rubber roofing material they make? I've made screens out of that. Leather, 
I've made screens out of leather. If you can staple it to a frame, you can basically paint over it. I've got so many different forms of things you can make screens out of. Paint it to your wall if you want. It doesn't make a difference. At the end of the day, you don't have to spend all the money for an overpriced projector. You don't have to be stuck in the dark environments. You don't have to calibrate your projector. You don't have to turn your house into a cave. Go to eBay, buy yourself an old projector. Why, why, why would you even care, bottom line, about the contrast capabilities? I did a demonstration yesterday. We did a 1920 by 12, 1920 by 1200 next to an, a projector that was an SVG 600 by 800 res. You couldn't tell one from the other. That's freedom, people. Absolute freedom. Let's go pop over here. I need to go to Home Depot and get me just a stack of wood. So I can just... I got so much stuff upstairs in the attic. Like sheets and freaking all kinds of stuff up there. All shower curtains where I've changed up my bathroom. I'm going to turn all this into screens. You can go to Amazon right now and just buy fabric. Just buy, buy fabric. That's it. Go to a fabric store. Fabric sure got fabric down there for days. You don't have to go with the 54, because most of the time you buy fabric online, it's 54. That's the highest you can go. You want that 62, 72, 82, that's what you want. You can go to a fabric store and get that. You can get it by the whole roll. Don't make a difference what color it is. Just, if it's printed, you can paint over it anyway. It's to make a difference. Make it easy. Now, when we have the acoustics, that stuff, the technology we develop. That stuff is a little more different than the everyday screen paints that we, we sell you guys. That stuff is customized. It has some interesting stuff embedded into it. That's why it looks that way. Let's go pop and find something else. Let's see. All the food up there. I got chicken like Christy projector too, because I ordered a Christy. I got another Christy coming in. Let's take a walk. Let's back it up. Let's bring it all the way back here. You can see next to the lights. I'll go grab me a couple of sample sheets so we can throw it against the screen. Show you how we're going to take the a screen that we made out of a, a curtain upstairs. Go side by side with a $6,000 projection screen. Let's see what happens. So, I'm going to take Dark Star 9, $3,000 projection screen, Cinema Grade 5D, $1,500 projection screen, and the Parallax, which I did butcher the name, $5,000 projection screen. Okie dokie, okie dokie.
Very similar right there. And my fan. Star 9. $3,000 projection screen. There you go. All right, there is a uh, $5,000 projection screen versus our curtain, our painted curtain. A little closer up. Wait, hold on, restart this. Let's display our curtain. So I used take my screen with my pretty curtains. So I explained to y'all that you know you have the ability to be able to paint anything you want with this technology. This is against high performance screens. We don't have screens up here matching our screen to make it comfortable. Each one of these screens have a different color. So let's begin again. I like to go back so I can show you the curtains a little bit. Right there. And our curtains. There we go. Beautiful curtains in the front here. Like so. There we go. That looks much better. And people say, what can I paint it out of? Whatever you want. What can you think of? I painted on mirrors. I painted on book frames. I painted this on wood and cardboard and styrofoam. Just about anything I want. So that's the beautiful thing about it. It gives my customers the ability to paint and turn anything they want to a high performance screen. And we can do all this in a fully lit environment against high performance screens. Screens are going to easily cost you $1,500, anywhere from $5,000 to $3,000. I love God's technology, isn't it amazing? That's my other projector going off, one for the ceiling. Let's go with um, white screen. Red screen. See? Our technology is far more advanced than a screen that's going to cause. This is mine. This is our mid color screen. This is our mid color technology. So, mids are basically what we call the white projection screens of our technology. 
Now we specialize in black screens. So we specialize in really dark, dark, dark screens, whether they be dark slate, whether they be that deep, dark purple, almost near black screens, uh, gamer paint, we, we specialize in that. Now, when we're dealing with the silvers, the silvers were developed because we wanted something that was different for our customers. Uh, some customers still crave that lighter uh, um, white level, so that's where the silvers came in. But silvers can still maintain amazing contrast levels compared to some of the other screens I've seen out there on the market. No one's ever matched any demonstration under a silver phoenix at all, period. They can pull star flow demonstrations, contrast demonstrations that other screens will stay away from. Now, this particular version of the silver basically is a little bit darker, which gives it the ability to produce much more higher contrast levels. And as you can see right here on display, this is a screen that we call our mid-level screen. This is the white projection screen of our technology. And this screen basically is going side by side with the Parallax, if I said that incorrect, I do apologize, at $5,000 for 100 inch. The Dark Star 9, $3,000 for 100 inch and the Cinema Gray 5D at around fourteen to fifteen hundred dollars. Think about that. And that's a sh and that's a and that's a my screen is made out of a curtain, a window curtain that's coated with the technology. My projector is forty three hundred lumens, nineteen twenty by twelve hundred, plenty of power. Blue screen. See. This is the reason why we're, 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 we're obtaining contracts so fast to our company because they're seeing this. Instead of you going out and spending all this money for this high-end projection screen, you can just paint a simple window curtain and still outperform the screens with no problem. And you don't have to worry about them being ultra short because some of these screens don't work with ultra short throws. So in order to work that screen, you're going to have a special screen that's going to have to work with ultra short throw. This technology is short throw and ultra short throw compatible. You don't have to spend all this money for expensive projector. The reason why I talk to some of these companies, and I've talked to a few of them, the reason why you have to go out and spend all this money for this godforsaken expensive projector, because the projector does all the work. Where this technology does all the work. You don't have to worry about spending all this money because you have to improve your contrast levels because your screen can't see contrast. If you're dealing with a screen that's probably like, a, let's say, the Phoenix, for instance, right? Say they have, a, they, they have a screen color, the Phoenix. They got to go out and they got to spend this money for a projector that's going to have at least going to have to have a 50, 60,000 to one contrast ratio. Have to have that in order to make up for what that screen is going to lose when it comes to contrast. Which means if your projector has anywhere in the range of that much contrast, you're not you're going to pay a couple thousand dollars for that thing. So they have to depend on the projector to do all the work. But with this technology, it does all the work. What's your problem, cat? That's the whole purpose. If I had bought one of these screens and I was living next door to me and I came over and saw this demonstration, I'd be kind of ticked off. I'd be like, what did I just spend all this money for? Literally just spent. That's what happened to the guy who basically sent me the email who spent all that money. I know for a fact that my screen is an edgeless over there. I have an edge-free screen over here by Elite Screens. That screen for a white one cost me almost near $500. For a white one, he has a Dark Star 9 attached to his, and that's a $3,000 screen right there. So I couldn't imagine what that piece cost him right there. And then the projector he described in the, in the, um, in the email, about five dollars $6,000 projector. It's a very, very expensive one. And yet I was able to come on here and dominate that screen with no problem with a projector that was outdated. Now, if he wants to downgrade, which he can't do, I can downgrade my projectors. I've done it in demonstrations. I've had a projector up there that was maybe around uh, 1920 by 1200, dropped it all the way down to 600 by 800 res, 720p. They can't do that. If they downgrade the projector, the screen will suffer. Starfield screensaver. And there you go, because the technology that we developed under the silver technology has a color shifting technology and it's something called contrast shifting technology. That's what you saw with the blue screen did. The blue screens can mimic black levels, just like this technology can do. We already embed that stuff in screens that are lighter, that will have that, that will struggle with that. Other than that, we have a technology that allows black screens to produce higher white levels. That's why when I bring up that black, um, that uh, professional black screen, and I can lay gray screen, this screen will blend into a gray screen and pull contrast over that screens can't keep up with. And look how deep the blacks are on that screen. 
This is on a window curtain. A window curtain. I wouldn't be surprised if I got an email today about this one. You want to get up close and see? There you go. Window curtain. That's it. Panasonic 4K demonstration. this one right here what i'm also going to do is i'm going to go back let's go get because we want to test the white levels too let's go get that uh that 0 0.9 white screen by the screen also too bring it up all right smart enough to keep the remote control with me or did I carry it? Nope, I carried it. So you should do it. All right. Let's go back a little more on that. Now mind you, two screens we got up there, two of them are gunmetals. That parallax, I know I butchered the name, it's a gunmetal screen and a Dark Star 9's gunmetal. So how is it the mid-level screen technology that we have it's producing a higher contrast level than those two screens that are designed for contrast levels. It's producing better color. Because the screens are not engineered to do all the work. Our screens are. They have to depend on the projector. Now, if I had the right caliber projector in here, if the screens are used to being used on, and I go out and spend a good maybe, maybe 10, 15, 20 grand for a good projector like they have, then I'll probably be to produce a better image. But look how much money I got to spend. LG, beta fish. So this is going to be available on Friday. We already had the labels already done up. It's the same thing as the silver. It just has advanced capabilities of contrast capabilities. I do want a darker version of the um, silver, which I have people requested for it. Now you have it. And I will be using this also too. As a matter of fact, I said my retro gaming screen that's going upstairs is going to have this coating attached to it. I want that kind of arcade cabinet kind of dark look to it. Sony 4K demonstrations.
4K demonstrations. We're going to take our, I like to use this one because it has such a high white level. So it's got our white levels up there too. So we have the Acoustic uh, Pro 1080p3. I like this one. You know why? Because that's that 0.9 gain attached to that white screen. Right? Nice and bright. Nice and bright. That right there like so. Alright, start off with this one right here. So you can see that even though the screen is dark, it still can maintain white levels. We do this with black screens all day. So now we got a little bit of everything up there. We got the white certified. We got light, we got the mid-gray certified, which is the Cinema Gray 5D. We have gunmetals up there, which we have the parallax, sorry about the picture in the name, and the 0 point, uh, 0 0.9 Dark Star 9. Versus our screen paint painted to a window curtain. So it took them what? These screens, it takes them about three, four years to develop it. This was developed today in about an hour. I was sitting there talking on camera when I was sitting there saying, right now as we speak, I said, we're developing this product right here. This is the product we just developed. As when I was talking on the camera, already developed today. And within a day's time, already, one, two, three, four certified screens. Done. On a window curtain at that. Which means when you're driving, when, when I'm in Home Depot, I'm just looking around like, oh, I can turn that into a screen. I can turn that into a screen. I'm in fabric shop. I can turn that into a screen. My tablecloth, I can turn it into a screen if I want to. My shower curtains, I can turn into screens. to the back one more time. People are probably looking at that. Oh, can it's not a curtain? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a curtain, all right. There you go. Here's my curtain. Made out of a curtain. Look at the angle gain on a curtain. Made out of a curtain. That's why I'll be sitting there reading through some, I don't, I'm not putting down their products, but when I read through some of their specification sheets, I sit there and I just laugh. I go, okay, we're going to start the day off with this nonsense. Yeah, because I know, come on, I know for a fact that it's all protocol. Come on, man, they, they make up these, these, uh, these, these protocols like saying, oh, well, you know, optimize your viewing pe pleasure. You have to use it in an ambient light controlled environment, aka your screen struggle in the dark with the lights on. You know, have to calibrate your projector. Screens can't see proper color. That's what I'm reading. When they tell me that stuff, oh, you know, if you use this particular screen, you have to, uh, it's best that you calibrate your projector. You just told me literally that your screen can't see color. So that's what I'm hearing on the other end. Most people want to hear that, oh, you got to calibrate. Okay, to get the colors right to adjust it. Yeah, so it looks more professional, blah, 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 blah. In the back of my mind, I'm hearing, no, your screen can't see color. That's what I'm hearing. It's ambient light rejection technology, but you must use it in an ambient light controlled environment to basically optimize the ability to be able to see the images much more brighter, more vivid. That's how it's supposed to be done. No, not really, not in my world. That should be coming off the lights on, but no problem. So you're just telling me from the door that your screen may struggle when lights come on. This is going to cause your colors to fade and wash out. Yeah. Best used with a projector that has a more high caliber uh, a contrast ratio. Oh, your screens can't pick up black. Best to be viewed with the projector in the center of the screen 
which basically you're telling me that if I move to the left or the right, the screen basically could, could develop a narrow viewing cone, which means it come dark around the edges. That's why they have the projector, but you have to have it interlined with the screen just right. If you shift that thing to the left or the right, that screen turns dark on you. Can't be used with ultra short throw projectors. Your projector is not compatible with ultra short throw projectors. We inject a particular screen in order to use that projector, which means it's going to cost me more money. None of these screens can go outside. Not one of them. That can go outside. Picture is best optimized if you're using a 4K projector. It means I got to spend more money in order to get the picture to look right. I can't do that with a 720p or a 1080p, huh? Not really. I, sometimes I call some of these companies up and I tell them, "Yeah, well, I got a 720p projector, so and so and so." And now I have them the model. I'm like, "Well, sir, you got to upgrade that projector. It's a little too old. Um, you know, that's the reason why your probably your colors aren't coming out correctly." I mean, I would suggest this particular projector, and the projector is just are freaking God's sake and for expense of. So I'm gonna spend five grand for a projector that, at the end of the day, I still got to calibrate, and I still got to be in a dark environment to use it. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Ain't my type of hype. I could go to the thrift store right now and buy stuff and I'll perform these screens with no problem. It cost me less. I think I paid like seven bucks for these curtains. Before my projector sits back, always one projector went from here to here to where the end of this room is is around 14 feet. Anywhere I set that stand at, that screen has to pick up. That's why I say anytime you see me do a demonstration involving contrast levels, they all have to be done in fully lit environments. You have to see how your screen's going to play out. Skyworth, food demonstration. Let's go bring some brighter colors in. Now I think I'm going to attach with this one a, four, a maybe a three gallon. We do a three gallon with this one. So we're going to do up to one quart, two quarts. We do a three quarts. I'm thinking about it. We add something different with this one. And we're going to do a mashup too. Now mashup, it's going to we're going to have three paints, which you're going to have one could be a gamer, one could be a phoenix, one could be a, a, a silver. They're going to be mashups. We're going to have a shop of cards. Going to have only so many of those in there. If you really can't make up your mind like which one you want, you say, okay, maybe I want the gamer, maybe I want the Phoenix, or maybe I want this one. I have people that get, get in there and they get confused, like, oh, okay, I want this one or that one. And can you make a mashup? Can you make where I can get one or another one? That's what we're gonna do. So we're probably gonna do it with a two quart and a special three quart. Because some people want the gamer outside. Like I have several screens in here. I have my gamer screens upstairs, I game on. I have my black screens, I watch movies on. So I have them outside. For, if I'm going to watch outside some TV outside, maybe around 12 o'clock in the afternoon or in the evening, I, I got the um, 235.1 um, Invisible Phoenix out there. But with the mashups, we're going to do something like the Gamer, the Silver, or the Dark. We'll do something like that.
Now, which one of these would I paint on? A mirror? That silver. That silver phoenix is gorgeous on glass. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. If you don't want to do a mirror, because sometimes mirrors can be expensive, check out Polish. They use it called Polish Plexiglass. They use them as mirrors. Mostly they use them in prisons, because that's something you can't basically break in, or say in solemn, something like that. But it's called Polish Plexiglass. It works just like a mirror. reacts the same way. If you don't want to spend the money for the mirror, the mirrors can get expensive and they can get heavy. And don't forget, the screen on that side is white. It's a white screen right there on the side. You gotta compare the white levels to the screen. That's why you need to see everything. Now, because we're out of containers, if you put an order for this on Friday, I guarantee you have you out by Monday. So you'll be good to go by Monday. This won't have you out by Saturday. Because we're not going to launch this until Friday. But you'll be good by Monday morning. You'll have a tracking number, no time at all. You'll be good to go. I just order my containers on Saturday, have them shipped in overnight, so I can have them on time for Monday. I bet you a lot of people are going looking at shower curtains, not shower curtains, but your curtains are different now. Problem in your house right now, looking at your curtains right now, come out. You can turn it into a projection screen. And yes, you can. Yes, you can.
Got some old bed sheets laying around, paint them too. I can't even see the contrast. Those are gun metals. People, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Let's do a little movie real quick. Batman, Bane, fight scene. There you go. So if I want to watch Batman at, hold on. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 2.18 p.m. 2.18 p.m. I want to watch Batman right now. I can do that on this technology. These screens won't be to pick it up because the contrast levels will wash out. People, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Hope you, you know, just give you more ideas on how you can utilize the technology to do so much more. I'm just give me that burp in there for a minute. And of course, as always, I thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing us with amazing technology. All right, with that being said, uh, the new technology will be available on the website on Friday for free worldwide shipping. We are going to have a three gallon container of this next. We're working on doing, I got these containers coming out. One is a 3.5. Once a 2.5 gallon container, they have locking lids. I want to get a couple of those basically just start upgrading because people have been buying two gallons like left and right. Now they're asking for four and five gallon containers. So I think these are going to come in nice for that. Uh, those are asking if it can be sprayed on. Yes, you can spray it on. You can roll it on. Do not use foam rollers. Just want to let you know. Use the regular nine inch net rollers. You should be good to go. And as you can see, as we paint the, the shower, not shower curtain, but the window curtain, you can paint whatever you want. It's up to you. All right. That being said, be safe out there and God bless.